Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're addressing a frustrating issue that many users encounter when setting up PostgreSQL. Our viewer has run into a configuration error while trying to launch pgadmin after installing PostgreSQL from Enterprise DB. The error message reads, failed to launch application server, server thread existing. Let's break down this problem and see how we can resolve it together. All right, guys, we're back with another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find your solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's address the configuration error you're encountering with pgadmin. The error message indicates that the application server failed to launch because a server thread already exists. First, ensure that no other instances of pgadmin or PostgreSQL are running. You can check this in the task manager. Look for any processes related to pgadmin or PostgreSQL and terminate them. Next, regarding the Python path, it seems you have the correct path. However, for the application path, you should point it to the pgadmin installation directory. Typically, this is located in the Program Files folder. After setting the correct paths, try launching pgadmin again. If the issue persists, consider reinstalling pgadmin to ensure all components are correctly configured. Finally, ensure that your PostgreSQL version is compatible with the pgadmin version you are using. Compatibility issues can also lead to such errors. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're facing issues launching your application server on Windows, it might be due to the Python path environment variable. One user resolved this by deleting it, which allowed the server to launch successfully. This problem seems to be specific to Windows, as the Qt runtime does not pass these environment variables to Python subprocesses, causing failures. In summary, if you're having trouble with your application server, consider removing Python Home or Python Path from your environment variables. And that's it guys. I hope we've gone through and found the answer that you're looking for. And look, if we did find that answer in your resolution, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need technical videos, I hope you have a good one. Bye.